Hey, thanks for joining me. Today we're going to be tying something called the Crystal Flash Shrimp. Actually, this is the, I'm going to call it the Salty Crystal Flash Shrimp. I've made some modifications to it um, to work for some saltwater applications. We're going to start by tying our, our thread. We're actually using monofilament thread. This is the ultra fine. Uh, so we're going to start by wrapping all the way back to the bend of the hook tie halfway back up, roughly about halfway. We're going to tie in a uh, um, dumbbell eye. We're actually going to tie it in on the other side. Okay, like always, every time we tie in dumbbell eyes, we're going to want to put in a dot of super glue. Then we can go ahead and reverse our hook. And we're going to wrap back to the bend of the hook once again. I'm going to take three or four strands of crystal flesh. You can tie this in any color. Um, this being a salty one, um, where I fish, I, I, the, the shrimp are a little more brown. Um, so I'm using this bronze color. It kind of matches what, what they, uh, what they you know, look like. Um, so I'm going to take the three or four pieces. We're going to go ahead and um, double them up, so bend them in half and then cut them basically right in half. Um, tie them in right on the top of the hook. Okay, once you get those tied in, we're going to keep our thread at the, at the back of the hook here, and we're going to tie in some eyes. Uh, these are monofilament eyes. I actually cr uh, made these just earlier. I'll have a video up shortly on how to make these. They're very simple, very easy to make. That way you don't have to buy them. Be just off-fly fishing stuff is very, very expensive. So I'm going to tie them in at the top of the hook. I want to make sure that they're even. And we want to tie them in so that way they're right perpendicular to where the, the bend of the hook is. Okay, go ahead and Really cinch those down. Make sure they won't move. We can cut off the excess of our monofilament. Then we're going to come back to right about the bend of the hook here. And we are going to add a little bit more of this uh, head cement. just to make sure everything stays put. And next I'm going to take some chenille. So the chenille, I'm using two different colors. You can just use one if you want. But I've got a, uh, right now I'm using like a bright orange, like a fire orange, and then like a yellow color, um, or a gold color. Uh, so we want to take our brighter color, and you can just use one color if you want, but if you want to make these more of like a spawning shrimp, um, go ahead and, uh, you know, use a bright color like an orange or a pink to simulate the, the um, egg sac. Okay, so we're really going to want to tie this in thick, a couple wraps around. I think that this is the medium size. Okay. Do a couple wraps. Make sure that's cinched in. Then we're going to want to create kind of like a like a tapered body here. You can see there's a few more wraps up top, and it kind of tapers back. That's what you want to do. And basically all that's doing is just hiding our wraps, kind of hiding the dumbbell eye, uh, cleaning this up a bit, all right? And then the next step is we're going to take some hackle. Now this is really important to choose the right type of hackle. You want something that has a lot of, um, <clears throat> a lot of like fuzz on the back, uh, more kind of, you know, um, well, almost like a uh, marabou in a way. Um, you, you want something like that that has a quick taper to it. You don't necessarily need one of these dry fly um, 
uh, hackles that is super long, but you do need enough length to tie this in. Okay, so this is this is what you're looking for. Something something just like that. Okay, if you can get something like that, that's great. All right, um, and you're going to want to start by tying in just at the tip, and we can bring our thread monofilament thread all the way back to right where the eyes are and we want to take our hackle pliers and start palmering this up the hook so to start that you want to go ahead and pull out some of the fibers that are actually going to be against that on the side that's going to be against the hook okay just to start it this will help it lay down a little better. There we go. We want to capture that. It's where we still get some of this, this, this finer, fluffier type of hackle. Okay. And we want to pull up at the top part of the hackle and just cut all that hackle off. And what you're doing is you're creating the legs of the shrimp. The front part of the shrimp have kind of webby webby legs, um, so that's what you're emulating there. And then we're going to bring our our thread all the way back. And to do this, so you don't capture a whole lot of the, the um, fibers you just want to kind of wiggle your your thread as you're going through this hackle here bring it all the way back to the eye okay and then we can uh, grab a large hunk of crystal flash and you want you want fairly a thick piece of this um, we use quite a bit of that in you know, crystal flash in this uh, in this pattern here so uh, thicker the better with this usually I like to tie my materials in very sparingly but in this case we're gonna go ahead and tie in very thick so I took that big thick piece I doubled it over so we're really doubling up the thickness here and there we go we've got a huge hunk of this uh, crystal flash okay and uh, sorry I missed a step there <laughs> We're going to take our UV curing. Um, so this is actually, I'm using Solaris. This is the thin formula. They have thin, thick. Um, this dries hard. They also have a, uh, um, I believe, a uh, uh, it kind of dries a little more soft. It's like a, um, a flexible um, uh, cure. Um, but today we're going to be using the thin hard. We're also going to use the thick hard. And then for the end, we're going to use something, a new product they have called the Bone Dry. Um, and it's uh, basically almost like a fingernail polish uh, type of uh, material that dries super hard, um, super quick. Uh, so it kind of leaves a nice uh, finish. I don't know if you've ever used some of this stuff and left uh, a little bit of a tackiness to it. Um, this keeps you from having to stick it in the sun or, uh, um, you know, basically it just, it's just, it's really nice, nice product. So, um, Alright, so you can go ahead and put that on there. Take your bobkin and make sure you got this uh, thin, hard material. You can use any, any UV curing epoxy. I just I like this stuff a lot just because they have so many different types. So make sure that's on there nice and even. Okay. We're going to take the, the eyes we're going to kind of separate them a bit, as you can see. Um, I'm going to pull them up a bit, separate them, make sure this epoxy is kind of into the eye. I'm going to put a little dab of it to make sure. Okay. All right. There we go. So that's going to make sure that those eyes are sticking kind of straight up there. 
and then go ahead and do a quick little uh, zap with your curing light. Okay, that's nice and hard. I don't know if you noticed how quick that set. Um, I just got this light from Solaris. That's actually their curing light. And um, this thing is awesome. It's almost like a tactical looking light. It's pretty cool. Um, but that, I mean, <laughs> don't don't go get one. Uh, I, I used to have one of these like Chinese um, uh, lights, you know, just one of these uh, knockoff brand ones. And it, and it just it didn't work. It was... We're back on to our uh, crystal flash. You want to take uh, your large hunk of crystal flash. And we're going to go ahead and tie that in with a little little extra here. Um, we're basically leaving enough for the tail, okay? So uh, we're going to have the tail come over the eye of the hook. So we're going to go ahead and tie that in right at the eye of the hook. If you tie it in tight enough, it automatically flares out. As you can see, it's got a nice um, flare to it. It almost looks like the, the tail of a shrimp. And then we can whip finish. Oop. Make sure that you don't capture extra extra fibers of this uh, crystal flash. You can pull those up. Make sure you don't tie some of these fine fibers in. And we're going to take the hard, so uh, the thick hard. This is their thicker material, um, and we're going to go ahead and put a coat of that on. Now the thick is super thick. Um, this is great for building like thoraxes or heads on on streamers, but it is very very thick, so keep that in mind. Um, and it stays where you put it. There's no no. You, know, you can leave it there for <laughs> forever, um, and it's just not gonna it's not gonna start dripping or anything. So it's a very very. I mean, I'm sure you can see this. It, it's a very very thick formula. So, make sure that's spread around, okay? And the reason why we're using that is we're trying to build the body here, all right? And we want to make sure that these crystal flash pieces are nice and tight. Lay them down. And then we're going to take the thin. Put a nice coating a thin on top, take our bodkin, make sure that's spread around nice and even. Cover up your, your uh, whip finish down here. Okay, make sure you get some of this spread up to a bit of the head. Make sure this is nice and centered. Hit it with your UV curing light. What I do is I pull up two, make sure you choose the two of the right size ones. Alright, I'm kind of angle those backward. Now I'm not used to cutting with my left hand, so I'm going to actually switch this around. I usually take it off the vise to cut, but I want you to be able to see this. So you want to separate, make sure that you leave the kind of feelers and antennas down there. Um, <laughs> and don't cut those. You want to pull this out and then cut on an angle and what you're doing is you're creating the the um, kind of horn of the of the shrimp okay and then you can pull these crystal fibers the crystal flash fibers down and it kind of becomes its antenna on its nose okay there we go now you're all done basically that's the finished shrimp it's a beautiful shrimp it looks just like one but I like one added step here I like adding this uh, bone dry and it comes in kind of like a fingernail polish type of applicator and I just kinda coat that right on top get a nice generous amount and what this does is going to give it a nice real high shine. It, it cures really nice and it cures really quick. I don't know if you notice but this is just a few seconds and then that's not even tacky whatsoever. That's rock hard. So there you go. That is the crystal flash shrimp. If you like what you see go ahead and subscribe. 
Also, send me a couple uh, messages if you have any questions. I uh, will respond as quick as possible. And if you have any t uh, flies that you want me to tie, go ahead and uh, um, request those. I will do my best to try to get the materials if I don't have them and give it a try um, to show you kind of how to do those. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.